and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves for this most holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people a set of serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on the pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and when anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, Lord, hear my prayer. prayer. Let, let my, my cry come, come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me, and the day when I call, answer me speedily. O Lord, Lord hear, hear my prayer, prayer and, and let my cry, cry come, come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory, when the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creations praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height from heaven and beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. for me, but you, you will die in your sin. 
where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? He said to them, Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this role, but I do not belong to this role. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in life, we will always have stress, which of course we do not welcome at all. More so, when stress turns to distress, then we will all get flustered and frustrated. In the first reading, we heard how the Israelites in the distress, they were in distress, but that was due to their own grumbling at God. And the consequence was the scourge of fiery serpents. But out of this distress arose the intercession of Moses, which brought about healing for the people. For Jesus, his greatest moment of distress was when he was nailed to the cross and was lifted up on the cross. But it was also on the cross that he revealed his full identity as a savior. The cross was also his throne of glory. Whenever we sink into the depths of distress or face trials and difficulties, let us remember this, that in times of distress, God is closest to us in his full power to lift us up so that we can see his glory. The times of distress are also the time in which God reveals his saving love for us. Let us lift up our hearts and minds to God as we present our petitions. That the church may continue to be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. That national and international leaders may be empowered by the Holy Spirit in guiding their people through the current pandemic crisis. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. That those who have turned away from God they receive from him the grace of conversion. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That this Lenten season may be a time of growing in the gifts God has given us. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died this past week, especially those who have died from the coronavirus, and for those who are mourning the loss of someone dear to them. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the needs within our prayer boxes, the needs expressed through the prayer chain, and for those held within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intention of this Mass, including those for the repose of the souls of Matthias Ewers River, Ronald Krieger, and Joan Scherger. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear and graciously accept the prayers we offer you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set a sacrifice in your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the all of His holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to Christ by sending down your Spirit upon them with the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the Lord, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. And with your sister, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you and take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my heart, but I may say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of God.
Let us pray. Let us now pray with me this, the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you of all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. O God, who choose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, Grant that your faithful may be as they should for the evil they have done. So merit the grace of your consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.